Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this RC helicopter main blade. Let's get right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component. I'm going to call this Hilo Main Blade. So what we want to do is start out by creating a sketch. We want to put this on the front plane. I'm going to create a line, make it a construction line, about 32 inches horizontally. All right, we're going to go ahead and start using some fit point splines, we're gonna use about two of them. So start at this edge, actually let's turn off construction. Now let's go. Start here, bring it in the center, bring it this edge and close it out. Okay, start adding some dimensions. So for this handle, let's go ahead and make this about 1.8 millimeters. We want this angle to be about 60 millimeters. Okay. Let's make this handle about three millimeters. Let's make this handle about three millimeters. All right. Actually, let's go ahead and give this a horizontal constraint first. Then let's go ahead and measure this line to this line, 1.02 millimeters. All right. Next, let's go ahead and make this angle. Well, actually, let's go ahead and make this a horizontal uh, constraint. Okay. All right. Next, let's go ahead and set the distance from this point to this point and make it about 16 millimeters. Now it's fully defined. It actually worked into place. Finish the sketch. Actually, let's go back and edit the sketch because we got to mirror that same line. So let's mirror this, select the mirror line. It's going to be this construction line here. Click OK. Now we can finish the sketch. All right. Let's go ahead and create a sketch on the top plane. I'm going to go ahead and drag a line from this point down. I'm going to make this about 230 millimeters. Do the same for this line, 230 millimeters. Okay, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and create an axis through to two points. This point and that point, click OK. Let's create a plane at an angle. Select the axis, let's type in 90 degrees, and hit enter. All right, now we want to create a sketch on this plane we just created. Let's go ahead and turn off that axis because we no longer need it. What we want to do is use the project tool because we want to project this outline. The P key, specified entities, select this line and that line, click OK, finish the sketch. <clears throat> All right. Let's go ahead and use the loft command. Select this profile, this profile, and click OK. Alrighty. Once again, let's create a sketch on the top plane. Use the project tool, P key, select bodies, select this body, click OK. And let's start out with the outline. Alrighty. So what we want to do is use a series of lines. So I want to select the line, start here, this edge, bring it over, left click and hold to create like an arc and bring it down to the edge like so. Choose the tangent constraint, select this arc and select that line. 
Now it's tangent. Select the distance between this point and this point. We want this to be about 21 millimeters. Okay. Just drag this point down and see if we can make it constrain itself. There we go, it snapped into place. So we should be good to go there. Actually, that's not what we want to do. We want to bring it down. Sorry. So let's go ahead and we want the angle between this line and this point to be 6.75 millimeters. And that's fully defined. All right. Let's work on the bottom. I'm going to use a series of lines for this as well. I'm going to create a line, drag it over a little bit, create an arc, create another arc, and bring it around until it touches this line right here. Let's go ahead and use the tangent command. We want this arc to be tangent with this line. We want it to be also tangent with this line. Let's start adding some dimensions. Distance between this point and this point is going to be 25 millimeters. Okay. Distance between this point and this point is going to be 16.5 millimeters. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and make this arc seven millimeters. Okay. And we want this arc to be 10 millimeters. All right. Let's grab the line tool again. Zoom in. I'm going to create another arc here. Another arc here. Actually, let me back up. There we go. And create another arc here to connect to this line. Tangent command, select this line and this line. Okay. Let's add some dimensions. I'm gonna go ahead and take this point to this point, make this 15 millimeters. Let's give this a horizontal constraint. Excuse me, a vertical constraint to this line right here. Line it up. There we go. Let's go ahead and make this arc 37 millimeters. And now it's fully defined. Last but not least, let's go ahead and create a center point circle and make that two millimeters. And now we're finished with this sketch. All right. Let's use the extrude command. Select this profile and this profile here. I'm going to select intersect. It's going to be symmetric. I'm going to drag it up a little bit until it actually clears the entire profile. Click OK. We can go ahead and turn off the sketch line. Okay. Alrighty. What we want to do now, use the extrude tool, bring back this sketch right here. We want to exclude this profile right here. We want to make it symmetric. And we're going to make it 1.5 millimeters. We want it to see the operation set to join. And click OK. Turn off the sketch. OK. All righty. Let's go ahead and add some fillets. We're going to make this edge and this edge to this profile 1.5 millimeters. Actually, 0.5 millimeters. Might be a little bit too much. 0.48, perhaps. There we go. 0.48 millimeters. Okay, we're going to set this profile to be 0.3. This inside to be 0.3 as well. Actually, I want to, not the edge, but both sides. So it should be good. We'll select this edge. 
as well as this edge. Let's go ahead and select this edge and this edge. Click OK. All right, and there you have it. RC helicopter main blade. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial and stay tuned for the next one.